Hey guys, I'm just Jershin and welcome to day 21, 9 plus 10 of the Spelunky 30 day challenge. Two thirds, my controller's very sick. My controller, come back to me. Controller, we're back. The Spelunky 30 day challenge, two thirds of it in the book, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we made some bit, you know what, just get in the episode. There's a lot to do now. Can't really dilly dally anymore. Uh, we made, uh, what's with this Undertale music? It's gonna make me cry. I've never heard this track in the mines before. It's too soft, too somber. Literally is gonna bring tears to my eyes. What are you doing to me? Um, I like, it literally sounds so, <gasps> hmm, a little scared, sorry. It literally sounds so much like Undertale music for some reason. I'm getting some extreme Undertale vibes from it, and that's not a bad thing, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I would call that a good thing. Um, anyway, uh, last episode we discovered... This floor's a little rough, huh? This is a, a rough start. You know what, just eat the run, actually. I, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but we only have 10 days left in the Spelunky 30 day challenge, ladies and gentlemen. And I know that song was beautiful. I'm sorry I had to eat it, but we can't be wasting time on runs that aren't going anywhere. Oof, 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 oof. I don't wanna go that way. Oof, 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 oof. Please let me go this way. Oof, 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 oof. You aren't gonna let me go that way. Oof, 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 oof. Gonna have to waste a bomb. Um, we don't have that many. That works. We don't have that many days left, ladies and gentlemen, in the Spelunky 30 day challenge. Only 10. We've made some good progress. We continue making good progress, hopefully is the goal in today's episode. Yikes, lots of arrow traps, once again. It's like the second uh, day in a row we've had a floor with just an unparalleled amount of arrow traps. So if you didn't watch the last episode, go back and watch it, I'm about to spoil it. We discovered the secret of the Ankh, or more importantly, how to get the Ankh in Spelunky. Um, we managed to, the, for the very first time, get it. And we're gonna try to do it again in this episode, and in the next episode, and the next episode, and the... Don't love what happened there. And the next episode, and the next episode, and the next episode, and the next episode. We're gonna continue trying to because uh, I wanna figure out all the secrets in this game. We also discovered the mothership, which was cool, although it did uh, absolutely murder my face, so I didn't appreciate that too much. Uh, definitely want the damsel, so bring her along. Um, the only thing is that uh, we died with the Ankh, which of course brought us back to life, but we died before we could get it to the place that I'm assuming we need to bring it in the ice caves. Um, that place, of course, being the giant statue head with the Ankh tattooed onto his forehead. Don't you know you're gonna regret that later in life? <laughs> um, so our goal today, we have a nice amount of money, but we'd like to probably get a little bit more. Um, our goal today, obviously, You know what? I've heard rumors of this, and I want to try to make it happen. You can apparently whip the arrow as it's coming towards you. So what I want to try to do is run, turn around, and whip. I'm gonna run, turn around, and whip. That was close! I'll tell you what, we took damage. The- the- I think the idea was there. It's- it's a trick we'd like to learn. You know what? We only have 10 days left in the Spelunky 30 challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta make it happen. It's a trick we would like to learn in Spelunky, I think. I think this is my favorite mind song. It is a trick we'd like to learn in the Spelunky 30 day challenge. Uh, sorry, just for Spelunky in general. To be able to whip arrows instead of having to waste a bomb or a rope to clear them. Obviously the bomb or the rope is a safer strategy and if you have a bunch of them, you know, it's fine, you could go for it then. I think using a rope here is fine because we're gonna get a lot of resources out of it, including a lot of gold. Look at that, I'm glad we re- Look at Curry, man. I'm glad we restarted that last run because as you know, as we discovered in the last episode, uh, we need $50,000 or 50,000 gold, whichever comes first. Uh, I, 
it might be worth a bomb for that gem. You know what? Yeah, let's try it. We need 50,000. Which means we need to be averaging around... This was not... Well, it was kind of worth it. We need to be averaging about 10,000 a floor because the... Um, the black market, or the place that the Ujadai takes you, can spawn, I think, anywhere on 2 1, 2 2, or 2 3. So, depending on my, when you get it, you might need to be getting as much as like 1200, 1250 a floor, actually, uh, if you get it on that first floor. If you get it a little bit later, you have a little bit more time and a little bit more leeway. That's still a lot of money to get in a short period of time. And that's also assuming. That's also assuming you're not spending any money. If you start spending money on top of it, like for example, there's a shop here. And believe me, I would love to have Hulk hands. I might get Hulk hands. It's 8,000, I think we can make it up though. I, I, look, I just was saying that you pretty much can't spend money in this because you need to be getting so much but I'm hoping that having whole cans and the ability to do some climbing, this is bad, um, will make it a little bit more likely. Look, we got a, a minute and a half to devote to this floor. Use bombs if you have to. There's a lot of gold hitting, hidden in this wall right here, so I'm gonna do this. It's also gonna open up this lower area to us, so I think it's worth it. Yeah, there's a bunch of gems and stuff over here. Yeah, highly worth it in my opinion. One bomb is gonna end up getting us uh, A, some HP, but B, like an extra like five to 7,000 stuff. Yeah, that's good eats. Um, you still gotta get a ton of money, 50,000 before you get it to buy the Ankh. So is that going to block my exit? What happens if this happens? Did I, did I, like, did I actually, in my laziness and my lack of desire to go all the way around, did I really just block the exit? Please. I think I literally just blocked the exit. Which means I now have to waste a second bomb. That, ladies and gentlemen, was not worth it. There's some things in this game, you make uh, calculated decisions to get money or ropes or bombs or whatever. Calculated decisions. That was a poor one. That was a, I calculated it in my head. I was like, just push it brother, save some time. In that case, time, the time that we saved was absolutely not worth the bomb that we saved. So regret that a little bit. I think we can get up there. Maybe not. <laughs> oh yes, we can. Um, I calculated it. I just uh, probably shouldn't have been doing the calculation in the first place as it turns out. Now I'll tell you what, you know what? I'll tell you what. <sighs> the scary thing about taking this, obviously it's worth a lot of money. But if there's a shopkeeper on this floor, we're gonna make him very mad. I think I'm gonna go for it though. Okay. It was a calculated risk yet again. This, this episode's all about the calculated risks the ones we're taking. They may end up not being the right decision long term. We'll find out. Obviously, we're now going to have to deal with this guy and his shenanigans. Every single floor, he's going to be guarding the exit. That stinks. But, why did I go in here? I now have to waste a rope to get out. Um, but on the bright side, I'm Mr. Brightside, as some would say. Oh, shoot, the key's on this floor, too. And a big spider. Oh, my gosh, this is a, a very busy floor, which I don't love. I do love that we're gonna get some sticky paste. I don't, my, okay, I was like, excuse me, my sticky paste. He is alive. You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be keeding me, I could say. Ha ha ha, it's a pun. The key that we need, we're gonna get a lot of money, but the key that we need is trapped down there with him. You have to be, you actually have to be joshing. Go. No! Get the shotgun! Get it! No! No! 
No, he's smacking me like I'm his little... <sighs> All right, well, one last run for the dead. I can't leave you on that one. So, calculated risks. Maybe don't take them, for, uh, at least not at your current state. Hate to say it, brother. You're probably not as good as you think you are at the game. It's probably not yet time for calculated risks. At some point, you will hit a time where calculated risks make sense. I think it's fine to take the, the golden trinket from that statue. I don't think there's anything wrong. Ooh, got some bombs up there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get them, though. Like, we could place a bomb. This is just for learning more than anything. We could place a bomb here. But it's going to destroy the floor I was standing on. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It might be doable. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We had to use a bomb and a rope and an HP. I actually didn't need to use the HP, but did use the HP. That was a calculated risk that until I lost the HP, I would consider worth it. All right, let's play a little less risky. Just because last episode you made some great progress doesn't mean you could be like, ooh, I'm invincible. I could do whatever I want to this time. No, no, no. You still got to make this happen, dude. It's easier said than done. You still have to make it happen. The free hole cans are amazing. As I said, sometimes the hardest part, at least in our couple, in our short experience doing this, the most difficult part is often, um, you know, you can't buy anything from the shops. Not being able to buy anything from the shops makes a lot of the later exploration pretty tough to do. We got 8,000, that's not enough for a single floor. Like I said, we need to be averaging about 10,000. So we're gonna try to want, we're gonna wanna get more than that. On this next floor. <sighs> but the whole cans are nice. That basically just saved us 8,000, theoretically. Cause if I would have seen them in the shop as I did in the previous run, I probably would have bought them. I probably would have bought the whole cans. So it's good that now I don't have to. <laughs> don't even tempt me, cause I'll buy it. If you tempt me, I'll buy it. We also need to like, it's like a, it's a completely different way to play. Typically up to this point, we've been playing like just survive somehow. Who cares what you have to do? Play as carefully as you must. You just got to get to the end and survive. Now we have to play a little bit of a different game almost where every piece of money counts. Even this little bit of gold. The first time we got the Ankh, we had 50,000. We had the exact amount required to get it. Please kill him. Thank you. Uh, we had the exact amount required, not a single cent more. We barely made it happen. I don't like that guy being there. Come on, we're gonna make it happen. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. It's gonna get us the damsel, a little bit more money as well. I see the idol up there. I do. I really do. Um, I, I, I look after the the way the last run ended. I don't think I can trust myself with it right now. Especially if there's a shop on this floor. There might not be, and that's the thing. If there's no, okay, there is. And I'm not. I'm not. I, I want to buy the compass. I'm telling you, I want to buy the compass really badly. I'm not gonna buy the compass. I'm gonna go to the next floor. Cut my losses. The only thing I might buy at this point is some bombs. Probably not a big bomb box. Oh, I forgot, we bought the, um, we did buy something on the run where we still had 50,000. So we might be able to swing it, especially if we get like a bunch of nice floors like that. Like if you give me a bunch of good stuff, we could probably make it happen. Where we can spend a little bit of money and still end up with 50,000. It's a tough ask and it's not guaranteed for sure. I'd rather just like have the 50,000 and know. And then once I get the 50,000, then you can spend the money. Do whatever you want at that point. Once you know you've got the requisite amount of money. The... <sighs> the world to some degree is your oyster. I don't like that phrase at all. People say it all the time and I really dislike it. Free parachute is great. Yikes. It's the Batcave, dude. 
I do not enjoy the phrase, the world is your oyster, mostly because I don't like oysters. I've actually never had them, but their booger-like consistency has always scared me. I'm worried the damsel's gonna die. I'm actually gonna waste a rope here. That's a bomb. <laughs> it still worked, but I'm upset with myself because we didn't need to do that. All right, 33,013. I actually do feel a little bit more comfortable. This is a little dangerous. And probably not worth it, but we made it worth it. Um. I am a little bit more comfortable buying something now. Has that been, you know what, I'm not. I'm worried the arrow could like phase through the wall, shoot the shopkeeper in the head, we're in heck. I don't want, I don't want to do it. I don't want to risk it. If bombs show up, I would be comfortable buying some bombs now at this point. You could also do some shenanigans with that guy. He's probably guarding a ton of money, but I'm assuming angering him counts as angering any shopkeeper. I'm still very worried about that situation. I don't know how it works. If I push that box. Okay, we have the golden key on this floor. There is a small bomb bag I think I'm gonna buy. Yo, you know I want the shotgun too, but I, I can't quite, I can't quite make that one a reality, I think. All right, we are loaded. 37,000 is great. Another treasure chest down here. They're actually just too kind. I appreciate. Oh, you trickster! Okay. They got me. Ha ha. Congratulations. You nearly made me play myself, thankfully. Wow. What a shot. Rick and Keel from center field. Thankfully, we did not end up playing ourselves. Now, there may be some playing happening here. The game's, to some degree, playing games with my heart because we know that the golden key is on this floor. We don't know where. It's around here somewhere, but right now we don't know where. I see a big spider boy, man. I, uh, I don't know where this golden key is. Okay. You gotta show yourself eventually, friend. You gotta show yourself eventually. More great money. Yeah, we're doing well from the money perspective. There it is. I gotta get up there, so... Unfortunately, gonna have to waste a couple of bombs, I think. Yeah, one more bomb. One more bomb should get us up there. Might have to also spend a rope, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Had to use a, a decent amount of resources on this floor. Got a lot of money. We're pretty much at the requisite amount of money. So that's great. We're gonna get an HP back from this. I also had to use a lot of bombs. Look, we could probably go back and buy the shotgun. And I'll feel comfortable about having 50,000. No! <laughs> I, I promise my brain works. It just works like a second too late sometimes. My brain instantly went into take the golden key to tunnel man mode, which means carrying the golden key throughout the entirety of the next two floors. We didn't want to do that. We wanted to oojat eye it. We wanted to oojat eye it. Kill me. End my run. End my run. End it. Murder me. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. We had it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one more because this is uh, still a failure. I'm gonna give you one more, but it's gonna have to be kind of quick. Oops. It's gonna have to be kind of quick. I can't leave you on that. That was just <laughs> just massive brain fart. So we're going to attempt to collect fifty thousand gold as fast as a human being possibly can. Get to the correct floor, also learn more secrets. It could end up being, ha, you scum. All right, this isn't the run. Yeet me, yeet me, yeet me, yeet me, yeet me. This is not the run either. One more, I promise. We're gonna have to go fast, which means I might play a little sloppy, but we need money. We need money. Look, it's just gonna be a longer episode. That's all you need to know. The episodes have pretty much gotten. This is probably worth a bomb, I think. 
the episodes have already gotten collectively larger as the series has gone on anyway. The game, we're getting to farther floors. We're dying more. We're discovering new secrets. It takes longer to get to certain areas. That's to be expected in my opinion. Come on, brother. That's to be expected in my opinion. You can't be shocked by that. But long term, I would like to speed things back up again. Okay, this has been a great floor for resources. Yeet. This has been a great floor for resources. Money's fine. If I can hit 10,000 by the time the floor is done, I'll be very happy. Um... I don't have climbing gloves anymore. Um... Look, the floor was nice to me from a resource perspective. So I'm fine doing this. We're gonna get even more money. Plus even more money. Plus, you may have heard of it, even more money, plus even more money, plus another crate that contains even more bombs. You know what I'm thinking, why not go up there and grab those bounties? That doesn't look that resource rich to me, so now I'm gonna go 10,000 per floor. I feel pretty good about. At least 10,000, if you can get a little bit more, even better. And we're leaving with more HP. I hear snakes, I hate snakes. We're leaving. I hate snakes, but I don't hate spiders. I used to like, I used to see that guy up there and be like, no, my life is ruined. Now that I know the strategies, it's just free sticky paste, my dude. And thank you for the sticky paste. I think the sticky paste is quite good. So I appreciate your donation. Okay, so I think this is the snake pit here. The thing that stinks about the snake pit. I don't know if I want to do it. There's a lot of snakes, first of all, obviously. There's also a lot of uh, treasure, which is nice. You son of a... Obviously, we would appreciate the treasure. You're also going to prevent me from eating that gold, and I hate that. Uh, Max's weapon shop. Look, I'm tempted, but I'm not going to do it, unfortunately. I mean, there's a lot of resources in there. You would not be incorrect. Look at all the diamonds. Look at all the diamonds, and they're actually rubies. They're not diamonds. I think I just got to go to the next floor. We got our 10,000. We did lose a little bit of HP, which is unfortunate, but we got the 10,000 per floor we're looking for. Def double snakeage? You can't hit me with double snakeage. That's rude. Okay, there's the golden key. Do not leave the floor with the golden key. You could leave the floor. I'll tell you what, taking the golden idol would anger the snakes very much, and I like that prospect. But if there's a shopkeeper, we're gonna be in, in heck again. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll think about it. I might come back up for that. It would probably cost an arrow or two, but I'm at least considering it. I'm at least considering coming back for that. I almost yeeted myself with that and I would have been very upset. Um, I don't know if we need to sticky paste this guy. I think we can just avoid sticky pasting him. Okay, do not leave, do not leave, do not leave, do not leave. You are not to leave yet, sir. Sir, you must stay here for a little bit longer. I don't like that you lost that HP. But it's okay. Question, is there a shopkeeper on this floor? Because I'll go back up and I will activate that trap. I don't see one. No, it's in the snake pit. I think we're gonna have to do it. It's gonna cost a lot of ropes. It costs all of my ropes, which is unfortunate, but no, I can't get up! Okay, we can still get up, actually. We actually can still get up. We're just gonna have to go through. We're going through instead of up. We can still do it, though. I have to make it work. Like, at the very least, I have to do this just to get the, um... Oh, shoot, I don't have climbing gloves. At the very least, I gotta do this to get the Ujad Eye, which is down there. So let's do that first. Um... Can I make it back up? Can I make it back up? Can I make it back up? Yes, but it's tough. You cannot make it back up. You son of a gun. 
That was a little scary. Uh, I would, you would not be wrong if you said that was a little scary. I think I trapped myself. I think I'm trapped. I think I'm actually trapped, unfortunately. I think I'm actually trapped. No, 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 we can escape. We can escape. Um, shoot. Yeah, I mean, we can get out, but this, this went very poorly. This is uh, probably not how you draw this one up, ladies and gentlemen. If you were looking for uh, like a little tutorial on how to handle a Spelunky floor, that would probably be at the bottom of the list. We're down to one HP. You know what? This episode's all about the calculated risk, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are worth a lot of money. My next calculated risk, send the rock, brother. Send Dwayne in. Don't kill me. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I can't see. Oh, okay. So the rock took my torch. I should have picked the torch up. I could have just put the idol down and picked the torch back up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, not a success. Last episode, a success. This episode, not a success. You're gonna have that in Spelunky. You're gonna have some ups and downs. This was a down. Next episode, we're gonna try to get back on the horse. 50,000 coins, 50,000 gold. Grab the eye of Ujad eye. Make it, grab the Ankh, figure out what's next. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it quite a bit. We're gonna put this together. Only nine days left in the Spelunky 30 day challenge. Again, I've already considered this a success. We beat Olmec, but I wanna see what other secrets there are in this game. And I hope you'll join me on that journey. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please consider showing some support down below, liking, commenting, subscribing, all help out a tremendous deal. Share with your grandmother as always, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna go eat some Chinese food.